hacking social networks is a regular occurrence over the internet around the world every second. Email, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok and other online accounts are being hacked. Even if you are having strong passwords and taken extra security measures, your accounts are not safe from hackers. In this video, I will explain 7 tactics of a malicious hacker so that you will get an idea of how these hackers can hack social media accounts. These are the most common attacks a hacker can perform. The first is Phishing attack Phishing is when someone tries to get access to your account by you a suspicious message or links that asks for your personal information. The main aim is to steal your login information or to install malware in your device. In this attack, a hacker will make a fake social media login page that looks legitimate and share it with victims to get login from a fake site. When a victim enters its credentials, it directly redirects to the hacker's machine. This is the most effective technique because many users cannot differentiate between the real and fake site's login pages and get fooled by giving their credentials. This attack requires persistence and excellent skills for making the victim login from your duplicate fake page. The second is Ban in the middle attack This type of attack occurs when a hacker privately steals and alters the communication between the sender and receiver. A user may think he is communicating with a legitimate user, but actually, all the conversation is passing through hacker and he possibly alters their communication without their knowledge. For this purpose, Burp Suite is the commonly used tool by hackers to perform a man in the middle attack. By using this tool, hackers can intercept between the machine and the server, captures the request that is generated by machine to the server, and alters it by requesting another thing from the server. The third is DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing is another one of the man in the middle attacks that can it allows us to redirect the victim traffic to another website, a fake website purporting to be a real one. User, what is Instagram IP? DNS server, here is Instagram IP. Real website, www.instagram.com with Instagram IP. Attacker, changing Instagram IP with the fake IP address where he wants to redirect the victim. User, what is Instagram IP? DNS server, here is Instagram IP. www.fakeinstagram.com with fake IP address. Then it will redirect you to malicious website. The fourth is Cookie Hijacking This attack generated by saved cookies from your browser. When the user log in an online account i.e. Facebook or Twitter account, the server returns a session cookie, which is a piece of data that indicates the user to the server and provides them access to their account. Given that the user's device holds onto that session token, the server will allow them to use the application. Also known as Session Hijacking, Cookie hijacking can occur when a malware program waits for a user to log into the website. Then, the malware steals the session cookie and sends it to the attacker. That could result in gaining full access to one of your online accounts. The fifth is Keylogger. Another most straightforward way to hack social media is keylogging. There is a software named Keylogger that is made by hackers to trace out the pattern of the keys of keyboard typed by the user. After that, it immediately generates a file of that key pattern and sends it to the hacker's computer through the internet. With this technique, a hacker can compromise even computer experts because this can be downloaded from anywhere. Keyloggers can be installed by a social engineering attack when a user clicks on a link or opens an attachment. File from a phishing mail. Keyloggers can also be installed through the web page script. This is done by exploiting a vulnerable browser, and the keylogger is launched when the user visits the malicious site. The sixth is end-to-end -end attack. This type of attack is vulnerability in applications that use end-to-end -end encryption for secure communication. This type of attack allows an attacker to take over victims' accounts and access victims, chat conversations, contact lists, shared files, photos, videos, etc. How does the attack work? The attacker creates a malicious script and modifies it with the image for new attacker add new mime type to the variable in order to bypass the client restriction and upload a malicious script. After adding the malicious script mime type to the client variable client encrypts the file content and then uploads it encrypted as blob to server. 
After clicking on the image the victim will be redirected to image under blob object which is an HTML5 file reader object under address it gives the attacker access resources in the browser under address victims data will be sent to the attacker. An attacker can take over account and attacker can then send the malicious script to all the victim's contacts for massive spreading. Also, the attacker can target the specified ones attacker can send messages with malicious script to your friend, boyfriend or girlfriend, etc. from your account to ensure that the victim will click. The last or seventh is Shoulder Surfing Shoulder surfing occurs when someone watches over your shoulder without your knowledge to nab valuable information such as your password, ATM pin, credit card number etc. If after watching this video, you thought that you now know everything and you are safe. I have to tell you this was for complete beginners. There are still thousands of ways to hack anything we call them vulnerability. In some of the next videos, I'll show you how to find vulnerability in social networks and report them to bug bounty or use for illegal purposes you choose. Thanks for watching this video so far. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. What more posts do you want? Comment below.